In this video, I show you how to add lines in Word. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Firstly, you need to go to the top left of Word and go and tap on insert. Then what you need to do is go to table and you need to go and tap on the downwards arrow on table like so. And then what we're going to do is insert a table. Don't worry, this is all going to make sense. So for the table, it needs to be one column across and then eight down like so. Then tap, now as you can see, we've just got this table here. Now, what you want to do is go to the top left and just go and tap on home again. And what we're going to do is go and highlight this table. So simply just go and drag and click down like so, so they're all highlighted. Then what you need to do is go and click on this border option just here, but the arrow to the right of it just here. And then what you want to do is go and tap on outside borders like so. And as you can see, that then goes and removes them. And there are probably two things you're thinking. Firstly, only the top part of the page has lines. Well, I'll show you how you can get them all over the page. And also, how can you go and increase the size of the lines? Well, let's go and click on one of these, for example. To go and make it bigger, all you need to do is go to the top and then to the left of the uh, bucket icon, we've actually got these lines. And what we can do is increase the spacing. So all you want to do is click on it and it starts at 1.0. We could go and put it to two, for example, or even three if you want it to be even bigger. And then that will be applied and you'll need to do it to each of these. In this case, this is enough for me. And now to go and add more lines, all you need to do is put your cursor after one of the lines like so. Then you can hit enter and a new one will be generated. And you'll just need to go and keep repeating that. So I'll put my cursor at the end, hit enter, and I'll keep doing this again and again. And as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. And we're gonna pretty much have a full document of lines very soon. 